Good morning. We are so happy you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. James and I are here at Animal Kingdom for road drop. 7.30 a.m. He was coming down here for work and we made it happen to be able to have James and I come down here and enjoy the days while he's at the office. And so we get way more park time than he does. And so it's just really special, something that I didn't think would happen, emotional about it and just like, I didn't think this was going to happen. And we're here and I get to spend the day with Teddy and James, and it's just gonna be great. So, I hope you're excited to come along. We came into Pandora. I did get us a croissant and James a little bit of milk. It was looking like maybe he was gonna fall back asleep, but if he's not, we're gonna try and go on Navi River Journey. We don't have a ton of like, I don't have a ton of expectations for today because neither James nor I can go on much. But we're gonna try to see Festival of the Lion King and just like soak in whatever we can. And then the plan for the rest of the day is to go to a resort and then Disney Springs tonight. James, he really liked River Journey. He did hang on very tight to me the whole time. You like these guys? We found the drum. We found lots of waterfalls. Lots of leaves. Say hi. We made our way back to the front of the park because we're just about at the time to see the macaws fly. Heads up Discovery Island! Looks like the stars of Wake Encounters are coming in for a landing. This is the way he is from sun up to sundown. Show off how destructive he can be. More amazing to see a sky full of macaws. Do you guys want to do that right here, right now? Yeah. Well, all you have to do is look up. I don't know what it is about, what is it, I don't know what it is about the, that macaw show, but it just hits my heart, I love it. So I went into one of the Discover Island shops to get water. My pro tip for getting water, if you're an annual pass holder, or asleep, um, or if you're a DVC member, any kind of discount, that you get water from in a shop because you get your discount on it compared to like any of the little kiosks. But that's just my little, my little tip. Monster, Coke, anything in the cooler. Um, so I went in there and James fell asleep, which makes sense. Like he was just running around like crazy. He has not, like he's not a kid who I wake up in the morning. Like I just always let him wake up whenever he wants to. In the past two days, he's gotten up pretty early, plus the time change. Um, so he's already taking a little nap at 9.30, which, it's fine by me. I would say like probably a 15 minute wait is his like threshold at the moment. Just learn to walk, wants to be independent. Um, you can only snack so long. I got more snacks as well while I was in the shop. But I'm like, I, don't, I wasn't sure how he was gonna be and that was kind of our test run. So he did a good job. He loved Navi but the line was just like probably just a little too much. 
So I just collected myself and I think I'm just gonna like stroll and enjoy, maybe get like a snack or something. The weather is beautiful today. It was like 58 when we left this morning, but it's gonna be in the 80s. Barely any clouds in the sky. And Everest is down for refurbishment, so there's nobody over here. I've never seen it look like this before. Here is my snack of choice. Frozen chocolate banana until more opens up. Right now they just have like breakfast sandwiches everywhere. Um, it looks like 11 o'clock. More of the little sneaky snack. Um, yeah, it's still open. I love this little seating area right by the bird show, like going into Asia. You can see the tree of life. Just a nice little area. I'm gonna take advantage of James sleeping. He is asleep even though his eyes are open. So I'm just gonna sit, push a stroller, and just relax because when he when he's awake, he takes a lot of energy, especially when it's just me. Plus, it just feels good to like feel vacation-y on such like a little short, busy trip. This is nice. baked macaroni and cheese with pulled pork. Hopefully there's pickles on there. I just feel like it's been forever since a lot of these little kiosks have even opened. Um, can you guys just tell I'm very happy today. <laughs> so I got my mac and cheese. I will show it to you. It is quite glorious. There are pickles, so I'm very happy. It's also my first Disney Coke of the trip. There is so much live entertainment going on over on that Discovery Island stage. They're singing and performing, if you can hear it. Um, but I'm gonna eat over here so James can stay snoozy. I can still hear it and enjoy. I got some shade, I got a manja. That mac and cheese was so good. One, which I was hoping for, but I didn't wanna get my hopes up. Um, they used flame tree barbecue, barbecue sauce, and pulled pork. Like, it tastes just like it. So that's great if you're not like, if you don't want to go to the full quick service. It's a nice little snack. It's actually a nice big snack. It, the portion was huge. And I wanted to like snack throughout the day, but now I'm like gonna be full. But that'll be good because once James wakes up, I can just like focus on getting him fed lunch. Um, I feel like he might be awake soon. He usually only naps two hours. And we're nearing that two hour mark, which is nuts, but he's probably just exhausted. Um, there's a festival line King at 12, and it's like nearing 11.30, and I feel like we need to get in line, but he might be asleep, so. I'm right by the Club 33 location here at Animal Kingdom, because I figure if he wakes up, we can get in line for the festival of the Lion King. Um, but it is a nice little secluded area. This is the walkway to Pandora. Good news! Jamesy woke up right in time for us to sneak into Festival Lion King. We're back here today to welcome you, one and all, to a celebration of Festival of the Lion King! Come on, We are in our full head now. Welcome to our world! Oh, let the procession begin! Up. 
changed into a cooler outfit. And we got Mr. Kamal's fries with both sauces. I'll have to put in here what they're called because I forget what the sauces are. And then some chicken dumplings, which are Jamesy's favorite. Jamesy noticed the Disney duck. Say hi! Don't throw your fork at them. We have made our way into the fossil dig site in Dinoland. Perfect spot for Jamesy to not be constrained to the stroller, to my arms, to a high chair, and he can run all around. Do you see what I see? Whoa, that's a big dinosaur. Whoa. We're going to the dig site. Gotta cross this bridge and go down. And look at this. What? I think Jamesy's unsure. It's different than the park. It's like bigger, bigger granules. And <laughs> I'm not so sure he likes it. Okay, that was our last stop of the day. We're gonna get on a bus to Old Key West and relax there until Peter's done with work. So what we found on our way out, Disney Nature Polar Bear sand sculpture. I've not been in the redone lobby yet. Wow. It looks so good, but different, but the same. Look at that turquoise. Jamesy and I had a lovely time by the pool and he actually fell asleep like immediately after I changed him. He was like zonked. Like I could tell getting into the pool he was tired and then it like brought him back to life. But the second I put him in the stroller and the sunshine hit him, he was out. Um, so I have to see if I can go on the boat with him asleep in the stroller or if he has to get out, we'll see. Um, Peter is still at work, it's 5.30. Um, and so hopefully he'll be on his way soon. This is not, I, 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 I can't even talk, I haven't had feeling so long. Five minutes and I four. And I'm already at the springs off ramp. Here I am. Got some shoes for James. Having a monster right now. Sarah just got here. I think she's on the other side walking this way. I think Megan and Katie are meeting us here. So I was in the office longer than I wanted. I was wanting to leave at like, I don't know, like 4.30. I ended up staying until like 5.40. But I got a bunch of stuff done I needed and it was kind of a hectic day, but it was really great seeing people that I haven't seen, catching up with some people. But I had a ton of meetings, a ton of meetings tomorrow. Whole reason why I'm down here, you know. Um, but I'm gonna, you know, soak up the next, it's a little after six, so I'm gonna soak up the next, you know, three to four hours before we go check into our resort. It's always fun checking into a resort, especially somewhere I've never stayed, uh, which we'll do later. Look at that. Ain't that a sight to walk into. And it's just a Monday after work, am I right? Am I right? Put together. James is asleep. Feels so much better. It's about to feel even better because we're about to go in this sugar boo. First day. Have you gone into any of the stores? No, I just walked straight here. <gasps> you look gorgeous. Alrighty, this is what we're gonna get for dinner. Megan and Katie are with us. The Raglan Road quick service. Friends! They left their pup for the first time. He fell asleep though. Yeah. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. It's been a week. 
Look at this amazing black and tan port, but it, the ratio is kind of off. I was going to say, it's more tan. It's more tan than black. <laughs> That's not how I like it, but it's going to be delicious either way. That foam looks yummy. On top. Ew. <laughs> Yeah, it's a burrito. Cool. It's like a latte. That's a beer. Like, <laughs> like a butter beer latte. This is Disney Springs. This is Raglan Road, Cooks of Dublin. You're not at work. Look at that. We got some fish and chips. I actually got that too. This is chicken. I don't eat fish. That's not chicken. It is chicken. Better be chicken. <laughs> it doesn't even like look chicken. like chicken. It's chicken. It's the same batter that is. Uh oh. Alrighty, our food has arrived. Look at that slab of fish. Look at the fish compared to the chicken. Now you can tell. Yeah. Yeah. Peter thought that was a fish. And then we got onion rings. I got the southern style chicken sandwich, which I honestly ordered because it had pickled onions on it. It's one of my favorite <laughs> toppings. And then this is just like a cheese dip with bacon and such. It's basically beer cheese soup, but more to dip like your fries or your onion rings in. Look at who's awake! What is this place? Look at the ground! <laughs> you are silly. Another photo spot. Are you Mr. Toad? Look at these new, to me at least. I've never seen it. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at the oh. oh my gosh. That's so cute. And this snack one. James decided that we left to go dance around Disney Springs. <laughs> will, you hold, will you hold that hand, please? Thank you. You're the sweetest. From like half a block away, he spotted Buzz. Look at this. <laughs> we found down little bit Daisy. Say hi. You love it. Oh yeah. Really. I found the merry-go-round. Is it beautiful? I know. Do you want to go on it? Oh, where are you going? Do you want to go on it? Oh, what? Alright, we're on the carousel. Get ready. <laughs> Who did you find? Honey, 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 honey. Oh, bye. I'm not a fighter. I've been gone for a week. I've been drunk since I left. Megan and Katie just head home. We were going to be going to check into our hotel. But we heard news that Gary Road is going to be While we wait for the next set to start, we ran over to good old Savannah Bee Company to pick up our our trips allotment of bee bads. Babe, energy. Oh! Here we are checking into Star Island Resort. I left them in the car and run in and check in and get ready. All right, so we're checked in. Do a quick tour before we get settled for the night. So I'm just gonna edit. I'm gonna give James a bath. We're gonna semi-unpack. I mean, we're only here for two nights. I'm gonna leave Wednesday morning, like when Sarah goes to the park and I go to the office, super early, like 7 a.m., we'll be done with this place Wednesday. So those of you, right when you walk in, cool little atrium, some painting, washer, dryer, 
It's a one-bedroom condo. This is the classification. Nice kitchen. Fridge, full fridge, cabinets, stove, dishwasher. A little wet bar area. Dining table. We're gonna host a dinner party. <laughs> nice living space. I think that's a pull-out. There's James. We have chamber secrets on. Here's the balcony. I have to look at the map. I'm fairly certain it's beautiful and it's gorgeous out. I'm fairly certain that like Disney property is that way. I think that's the Four Seasons. Can't see it through my finger, but I think the Four Seasons over there, uh, like to the left of that would be Magic Kingdom. So if that's the case, we would have us. This would be an amazing firework view of on um, balcony. Uh oh. Do you want the snack pack? Here's the bedroom. So there's a king bed, window there, TV, dresser. This was what surprised me. It was a very Florida resort of like bedroom and the bathroom just being here. But I was not expecting this fancy newer tub. Shower. Pretty basic there. So this is uh, Star Island Resort. It is... Um, Part of the Club Wyndham portfolio, and as you guys know, if you've been watching us for a little bit now, I work for Travel and Leisure Company, which is the parent company of Wyndham Destinations. Um, so I am. This is this is I'm staying here for work because I'm going to the offices, um, but I've never stayed here before, so that's exciting. It'd be nice to have all this space while we're here, and I think we all just want to go to bed. Sarah's pretty wiped; she had a big day. James is ready. Hey, hey, we are finally <laughs> going to bed. It is good to be home. Good night. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.